What's up everyone, Sebastian here with Press Start Seb. I don't like the Boruto anime, and for a long time I haven't really known why I didn't like it. Uh, maybe it has something to do with Boruto being fucking annoying and uninteresting, or perhaps it's that the original cast is like a former, a shadow of their former self and is often portrayed as a gag as opposed to, I, I, I don't know, the strongest shinobi in existence. Uh, pff, this disconnect is both narratively based and aesthetically based and causes a great deal of frustration when a character you really really dig is just getting shit on consistently episode after episode after episode. And the more I tried to kind of unpackage uh, what the issue was in actuality, the more I saw that it comes down to kind of a combination of, of a bunch of different issues that comes down to being an issue of stakes. In the original Naruto, and just FYI, I'm going to be refraining from discussing Shippuden as those kind of comparisons are unfair. Uh, Kishimoto was a masterclass of building up tension, and this was done by clearly underlying what each character could do, what feats were in their scope, and what kind of weaknesses they had. This was both interesting and satisfying when characters would acquire new abilities and grow in their own kind of depth and in their strength. We understood that Sakura has great chakra control, uh, was good at negating Genjutsu, and has a bit of an inferiority complex with Ino. We saw Sasuke was this prodigy of sorts, and his abilities ultimately fell behind that of the speed and dedication of Rock Lee. And Naruto was immediately from the first episode shown to be terrible at shadow clones, and kind of an overall fuck up. That is why the show was able to deliver these hugely moving and exciting scenes like when Sakura cuts her hair off, or Sasuke utilizes the Lion Barrage and the Chunin exams, or even when he uses the Chidori to smash into Gara's ultimate defense. These scenes are enthralling and when Naruto summons those thousand clones to absolutely fuck this dude's day up, it had emotional and physical weight as we see him performing something that's monumental for his character and is derived from his own uh, want to protect Erika. Borja doesn't have this, or even anything remotely close to resembling this. The Borto anime starts and we have no fucking idea where he stands as a shinobi. We know he's good and a natural talent, but it's never really established what his abilities are or what his jutsu collection entails. It's hard to establish stakes when you don't know what a character has in regard to strengths and weaknesses. Can Borto overcome this challenge or this enemy? Well, who the fuck knows? At this point, we know he has wind release, lightning release, water release, and gentle fist. We don't know how he acquired them, uh, how well he can use them, or even how long he's been using them for. His abilities are not only groundbreaking in respect to the Genin counterparts of the original Naruto when you try to compare what Borto can do versus what the other Genin could do, especially when you kind of think of how surprised Kakashi was that Sasuke could toss out a fireball jutsu. Um, but anyway, this is also super fucking uninteresting. Every time Boruto and company are in a bind, all they have to do is make up a new fucking ability that we haven't established and then use it. The prime example is the Boruto stream or whatever the dick it's called. It's so unbelievably cool. But like, this guy should just be learning clone jutsu, not wind propelling himself using clones to impale folks with a lightning kunai. He's strong for no reason, with no parameters, and no real way to make him a deep compelling character. And if you go, oh, it's because his parents are strong, well, fucking Minato and Kashino were strong too, and Naruto was a dope at the beginning. And I know that this is part of the anime not being able to change anything drastically that the manga hasn't don't established. Don't make a manga that, well, the solution is that. Uh, don't make an anime out of a manga that only has fucking two volumes out. Building or Each just, character is this I don't know, generic archetype, which is fine from a, narr a narrative component initially. But when that doesn't change in nearly 40 episodes, my interest begins to diminish. Especially when you consider by episode 40 in Naruto, Kakashi and Orochimaru were about to fucking throw hands in the Chunin exams as Kakashi tried to protect Sasuke. The general theme of Boruto so far has been not resting on the laurels of your parents' accomplishments. But they're kind of going completely antagonistically to that as they're relying solely on the Naruto fandom to stick through this mundanity as opposed to making Boruto a good show in its own right. 
The theme of the show and the execution are in total opposition to each other. This is an opportunity to dive into what a post-war Shinobi, Shinobi world could be. And you know, I'm only scratching the surface of everything wrong with the show, but I think this is where I'm going to leave it for now. Let me know what you guys think about the power scaling in Boruto, and if I'm kind of missing the mark in regard to um, them being too strong to be interesting, at least this early in the show. If you dig videos like this, let me know. Now I have faith that the Boruto anime can turn around once it gets past the movie's content. However, I'm also not in love with the direction of the manga either, so we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching guys, and as always, I will see ya.